Onet before we leave it. It's its proper name is Onet. There might be some people who say Wonetti or on it or Shout won out it. Temple, Wonetti uh, buddies. It is Onet, and that's uh, that's I think that's that's set English science right there. So basically, we're trying to conserve psychic points to have at least 20. Uh, we're going to be conserving that for RNG alpha attacks on the uh, boss of this area. So for now, we're just going to be bashing out these cops. And we have enough for two life ups as well. So if our HP gets really. Say an Ultra Mash. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm known for is my mashing. And something you know that he's doing the Ultra Mash well is in the bottom right of those text boxes is a little triangle. When you're not seeing that triangle go, that means that we're like frame perfect Ooh. mashing. I want this. Nice. A random butterfly spawn. So what Ulti got there earlier was an exit mouse. We're not going to be in a later town. And we're going to save here to set up a cool trick that we're going to do later. Yeah, so we're going to be saving. That would normally be the only save I do in this run. Lesson on cardinal movement. Sure. So this was something we kind of dived into a little bit more this year. Um, Shoutouts to Uko for also diving in quite a bit as well. But basically, uh, you want to be moving in a cardinal direction that is straight up, down, left, or right as much as you can. Of course, if you have to go diagonal. No, I didn't go and check it out. That's one thing that makes this route a little different than a casual playthrough, at least this part of it. And the other part, you'll see in a second here, I'll have to go away from him. We're going to go talk to Evergrad here for a second, but not too close. We're going to keep our distance. Peaceful Rest Valley in this version, uh, which is far from true. Uh, in the Japanese version, it's actually called Grateful Dead Valley. And uh, yeah, that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they were going to call it a Fuzzy Pickle Valley, but they uh, they forgot to do that. Oh, right, right. No, I don't know if I can. They're extremely powerful, though, and something that in a casual playthrough will make you kind of not like the game and <laughs> not trust enemies, because when you kill them, they explode and do a lot of damage. I think Ulti already got two butterflies, so he's pretty much set on psychic points for the next area. This fight probably will. This next fight is very scripted, something that it's, you know, Skate has his cardinal directions. I have my don't heal on the first turn of Car Painter. <laughs> uh, it gets me very upset because you, you cannot die on the first two turns of this fight. That can go. So far, we've seen 21 misses. <laughs> You want to stay low HP here. Thank you, every runners, volunteers, staffers, sponsors, contributors, and donors for this amazing week. When this club of donation is finished, your adventure will continue. Believe in yourself and press forward. Sans, Jester, Morty, Melvin, I wish you luck. Oh, nice. Wow, oh, that's perfect. both in practice <laughs> and now, in two turns. He can confuse himself and make this take forever. He has a wonderful chance to confuse himself. Just derp out. There, there have been some mole fights in the past that have lasted forever. Attacks for you, and they have 100 HP. And we'll want them later, but for the death warp, it, it would have been a, a little mundane to do a death warp with a, a teddy bear trying to... It's the first game I've played that was more than a game, and I'm so glad that I get to see it speedrun on Games Done Quick. I always loved GDQ, and I'm glad this game had the honor of finishing it off. Although I do want you guys to check out the building we're approaching. I call it Alti House because it makes me so happy. You're going to see his sparkly eyes and handlebar mustache. Just, just look. You'll see it. Get ready for it. There he is. Look at the open mouth and the handlebar mustache and the sparkly eyes. He's just so happy. You cannot untie him to come through for us. If you look, he's just not really up to snuff, but he falls under the pressure. And he doesn't do enough damage a lot of times, and then we end up dying. And we hopefully won't be seeing that here. but. Odds are kind of in Jeff's favor not to come through for us. <laughs> so we get baited by the team. Yeah, so that was a that was a very good three tunnel, two green swirls, and pretty quick empty rooms. Yeah, that's not jinx it, but this run is going quite well. Yeah, that place, that is something for <laughs> new runners. Uh, I've probably seen more people quit learning the game there because they end up it, it kills so many runs. So again, very unconfident stuttering by me, but we made it. <laughs> and we're about to see that with a little ball and chain on him. We learned that the secret password for where we're coming up 
is standing still for three minutes, which seems very odd. And for, for me, I, I, I failed. For all that you do to help people and save lives. We have a $150 donation from Yarn Pirate that says, You all rock. Thanks for another amazing SJDQ. Love to all the people. We have a uh, $10 donation from Derek the Third that says, As we're nearing the end. I went over NPCs in this game. And this is the wonderful four side music of Smash players will probably recognize it. It's my favorite town theme, without a doubt. 